The Rick Hansen Relay is making its way across Canada, and in a couple of weeks, it'll be here in our city raising awareness for spinal cord research. Ahead of that, tonight, our Nightwatch reporter Quinn Oler was shown just how far understanding the injuries has come. I got hurt in July of 2007. I got out of the hospital August of 2008. Michael Willier was 35 years old when the tree branch he was sitting on broke, dropping him meters to the ground and changing his life in an instant. Then it uh, damaged my spinal cord at the C5, C5, C6 vertebrae. After spending over a year in hospital, this quadriplegic says he was ready to get out and live an independent life. I'm going to move out on my own once I leave, leave here. And they're like, well, I don't think you can. And I'm like, well, why not? If it wasn't for like Rick Hansen and the Canadian Paraplegic Association, I don't know kind of where I would have been as soon as I left the hospital. Independence not only improves the quality of life for patients, but also saves money. Spinal cord injuries cost the government around $3.6 billion a year. The Rick Hansen Institute is trying to reduce the impact through research, supporting projects like Rejoice that help in rehabilitation, to a Calgary study involving an antibiotic repurposed to help cells survive after they've been damaged. It's certainly useful in spinal cord injury, at least in the models we have. And we've been able to now translate that into the human. So we've been doing a study in humans and have found um, a fair bit of improvement based, uh, compared to baseline. The Institute has also created a network linking the best in the field. And each of the provinces can feed off the best ideas from an other provinces. And now we're extending that network internationally. In hopes of reaching the man in motion's ultimate goal. And hopefully developing um, a, a small C cures along the way to uh, the ultimate cure for spinal cord injury. Quinn Oler, Global News. Quite a shocking announcement today. The Edmonton Capitals have